Being joined now by a Ranger legend, also a great guy, Adam Graves. Adam, good to see you. Yeah, great to see you. Uh, it's September hockey right around the corner, Rangers hockey right around the corner, which is exciting coming off the year that they had a year ago. Disappointing end in the playoffs, but a great first year for their head coach, Peter Laviolette. Well, it's a culture that uh, they, they have, and he's he is uh, a guy that believes in culture, and uh, he's had success everywhere he's gone in Laviolette. Uh, last year, it was no different. The Rangers, I mean, made huge strides. Uh, right. Most wins, most points in, in, in Rangers history, and it's, it's a close-knit group that I think that uh, nothing is linear. You know, there's ups and downs to everything, but this is a heck of a team, and their, their young guys are getting experience that uh, you can see, and their special teams are as good as there is in the league. Everyone is gearing up for the drop of the puck in October and can't wait. How about, you know, this team concerned about maybe they've, you know, plateaued a little bit? You know, they, they win the President's Trophy. They got pushed around in that series against Florida. I don't think there's any question about it. Uh, Lafreniere took a massive step forward. They're looking for a step forward this year from Capo Caco. A lot of lean on, on Shesterkin and Net. What about this team being able to win the Cup, something that you did in 94? Well, I'll just point to what you just said. It's so many positives. And, yeah. and when you think of uh, the, the performance in, in the Nets uh, by Igor and, and certainly uh, Laffey, the, the progression and as, as he has developed, uh, you know, from a young guy now into turning into a, a veteran. But for me, this team is, is, is built on character and, uh, and you know, from, from their leadership uh, group with, with uh, uh, Crides and Troobes uh, and, and seeing them from, you know, growing up and, and growing together as a, as, yeah. a, as, as a core, I'm excited. And, and if you look at, you know, in the history of the National Hockey League, um, teams don't just go from A to B. Yeah. There's ups and downs and you have to grow and you have to learn together. And, and I think, uh, uh, quite frankly, they, they learned a lot as a group last year. And I, I think about back, uh, you know, my, my years, it was yeah. the teams that were the closest, where they really cared about each other. And you, you, I have a, a real sense of closeness with this team and this group. And, and uh, certainly it starts with our leadership. When you guys won the Cup in 94, you know, you won a President's Trophy, didn't win the Stanley Cup, and there was some failure. And then finally able to come through. Did the journey make it that much more enjoyable in 94? Without question, yeah. and, and it takes you back. It's been 30 years now, and and dude, it's you, crazy. It's been, I mean, well, crazy. We were, I, I, well, we were talking about you going to Playland back in the yes, day. Yes, exactly. And, My and dad I, bringing me to Ranger and practices. I didn't want to date myself. You and old check handed out sticks. And it was you, great. Yeah, you would have got one of those wood sticks. Yes, wood sticks. I yeah. would have taken it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those great. are those are great memories. But again, uh, like any journey, it's it's about uh, caring about each other, and yeah. you, you you work together. You obviously have to have great re leadership, and and we were spoiled with with Mark. But it was a whole group. And talk a little bit about MSG Fan First Initiative. What what MA, Ranger fans are unbelievable. You know that better than anybody, right? But well, and I'm, a, hey, I'm a fan too. I and, know you and, are, and, and we know that whether it's uh, uh, tickets to anything, you're always trying to go on, or sometimes trying to go on that secondary market. And the markups are are, are crazy, and brokers are, are stepping in. Where Fan First allows the fans to get to uh, tickets that are, are are made available at ticket price, and and you just have to go on to NewYorkRangers.com forward slash uh, uh, fan first and you'll see that you can sign up and they'll send you out uh, ways to get tickets at uh, the ticket price instead of uh, paying those inflated prices and and we all know you we all want to go to as many games as we can no doubt I like to see concerts like it's to see pricey. all these yes so for for me it's it's just a way to to you know to take care of the fans and give them an opportunity uh, to do it uh, at face value all right take this back february 3rd 2009 that night at Madison Square Garden, when your when your number went to the rafters, what was that night like for you? Uh, for me, and, I, and I'm being a, like I've said this many many times, I was just uh, humbled because I I realize who else is up there, and those uh, you know start with with number 11 and number two and number 35. Those guys were special players, yeah. um, and and for me, I was more of a product of my environment. I was lucky to play with them. That was a compliment to, to those you guys. You were a great player. They, they, they might I mean, argue, you were an unbelievable finisher. My, my, you were tough. Yeah. You defended your teammates. You notice, were a great notice player. you didn't say that I deked anyone or I had fancy hands. No, so no, no. My, I didn't my, say that, but still, you, you know, got my, the job done. My game was a simple game, but I. I truly look back on it. It was such a privilege, and it was a privilege to play with, with those guys. And I was, I was a benefactor of playing with some great players, but I loved it, and I've always considered it a, a privilege. Did it to, give you chills that night? To, to sit beside that. And, well, yeah, and, and it, was, it was humbling. I, I don't know if I'll ever be comfortable with that honor, but I'm certainly uh, very humbled by it. This year, big expectations for the Blue Shirts. Is this finally going to be the year? I thought it was going to be last year that they were going to win the cup right after the regular season they had and the dominance and you, you know Kreider obviously Zibanejad and Panarin I mean it's a loaded team Laviolette big impact year number one what do you think expectations uh, year number two? Again I think this team is learning every day and I 
I, I'm careful not to guarantee something I don't have to back up. Uh, but I, I'm as big a fan as there is. I love this team, and, and quite frankly, I see him continuing to grow, and, and, and hopefully uh, this, this is year, but there's a lot of work between now and then. You walk into a room, you see Messier, Leach, and Richter. What's the first thing you say to them? Would you like a coffee or a newspaper? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Those are my buddies. Those are my brothers. I know they are. I know they are. Adam Grace, Adam, pleasure. Hey, thank you very you much. Got it. Go to NewYorkRangers.com slash fanfirst and check it out. It's a fantastic thing that MSG is doing.